Hello, Klaus here. So today I want to talk to you about editing software. If you're a beginning filmmaker and are on a tight budget, there is a great solution for you. It's called DaVinci Resolve and it's absolutely free and it's um, Blackmagic's program. It's also a very good color grading software. You can read more about it in the description below and you can download it from there. So anyway, I thought that I would do a little mini series about how the program works and what are the basic functions of it and how is the workflow in Resolve. So without further ado, let's go to the edit suite. So here we are starting up DaVinci Resolve. So I thought we will do like a quick run through of the, how the menu looks. So this is the um, startup or the project manager screen. And this is where you have all your projects when you open up the program from the first time. You can start up a project by just clicking right here. Or you can go down to new project and click right here. So, but today we'll do it by clicking right here. This is the media tab. This is where you'll import all your media. Uh, you have all your drives up in the corner and then you can open all your drives and very simply you can take your, your media and you can drag it down to the media pool which you have right here. So this is the edit tab um, and up here you have uh, your media pool where you have all your clips and you can drag your clips down to the timeline or double click on them and you can view them on the source monitor you have right here. And this is the timeline monitor. Here you have your timeline. Above that you have all your editing tool, but we'll take that in another video. So um, here you have your effects library. It's like audio transactions and video transactions different kind of effects. You also have some open effects and some audio effects. We'll go into that later as well. So yeah, let's go to the color tab. So the color tab is one of my favorite things in DaVinci Resolve. So here you obviously have your media and then you can go down here and here you have your color wheels in different flavors. like Primary brass, uh, and you can do a log format as well. And um, also you can mix your colors with the RGB mixer. And here you can do some motion effects like, um, we'll take that later, I think. This is your curves and we can do great adjustments. Your qualifier is very great for skin tones um, and window if you want to isolate different things in your image. Then the tracker in DaVinci is amazing. And then you can do some blurring and some sharpening as well here. And keying will take that later, as well as sizing, I believe. And the 3D, I don't use as much, and we'll take that later as well. Then you also have all your scopes uh, here, which is like the parade and waveform. And of course, uh, the vector scope and the histogram. So that's very neat to know that and have that as well. So up here, of course, we have uh, all the notes. This is where all your color correction will be applied. We'll talk about that later. Also, there is some if open effects in here. We'll take that later as well, I believe. So this is the deliver page and you can deliver in different formats. It's like you can f your own YouTube formats, Vimeo, Final Cut and also you can do Premiere XMLs. And you can here go down here to video and change setting as well as the audio and change the files. And the file you can change the name and different settings. I think we'll take that later as well. So, and then you can add this to the render queue. And of course here you have your, you can start your render queue right here. And this is where you have your job list. And, um, yeah, basically that is it. Well, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And next time we'll talk about editing in Resolve. So until next time.